What up players, it's Warboss Tail in this mod doing a really quick video for day number 11. Well, the first part of this is going to be quick, and then if you want to stay and suffer through the interminable drag of watching a time-lapse video of me painting, then you can do that. Here's what I was able to get done today. Uh, all these guys have pretty much all their base coats down. There's some things... Oh, except for the, the, the dark iron. Gotta do that. Um, but all of the straps, the... Uh, boots, the leg wraps, the trousers, the gloves, I think just about everything. The only thing left to do with these guys are the dark iron helmets and shoulder pads and um, hand armor. Also took a lot of time doing the same thing, getting these guys up to the same level. They're the crewmen for all of the artillery pieces. So slowly slogging through it, and again, this is the, the hardest part to, to get through and the most tedious. Once we get to the washes and the highlights, then it's gonna be a lot more fun. Okay, but hey, at least it's, it's a lot better than it looked at the beginning when there are all different colors and primers and everything. They're all starting to look uniform now. The question of the day, day 11, is if you could be an extra in the upcoming Star Wars movie, what would you want to be? Nobody with lines, just somebody hanging out in the background, doing background things. I think it'd be pretty cool to be one of the countless soldiers in the um, Rebel Alliance, or, or one of the fighter plane uh, X-Wing pilots, since the X-Wing game, the Star Wars uh, X-Wing game is so big now. Uh, a soldier on one of those would be pretty awesome. No idea what Star Wars, the new upcoming movie, is about, so maybe it might be cool to be like a bounty hunter hanging out in a bar, um, just doing bounty hunter at the bar kind of things. Uh, I, I don't know, like the the uh, most common answer would probably be a Jedi. Nameless Jedi training in the academy or meditating or doing stuff with the lightsaber, but yeah, I'd, I'd rather be a little bit more mundane and just kind of more in the masses. I, I think it'd be more fun. Uh, less pressure. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Latest players! And here we are. Okay, so we are um, starting with all the browns on the leathers and my lady boss says that she would like to be in the cantina band. Is that right? <laughs> Do you want to be a human or an alien? Like with the tentacle head. Whatever has more fingers, like. Um, yeah, we were talking about how every I think every one if you take band in high school, you play the Star Wars medley at least once, in <laughs> once in in your life, and yeah, I remember that. Oh, band camp, long hours learning the Imperial March and playing it on my string bass. Yeah. So, look at these guys. I'm doing the crew right now, and um, they they are a long slog to to get through. And yeah, I, I realized that you know when you have an infantry heavy army, you gotta just kind of turn your brains off at some point. Listen to a podcast, talk to your girlfriends. Uh, just don't think and don't look at everything else you still have to do because there's you don't want to get discouraged um, and I think that's what a lot of people unfortunately who take the July painting challenge what happens to them is that they make huge commitments and um, they forget that they, they have lives we're doing this for a hobby and we're not getting you know there's there's no one sponsoring the July painting challenge that's gonna give us all this money and prizes and stuff at the end of it so when you've got other things going on in your life and all of a sudden a week into the challenge or a couple of days in your wife or your girlfriend says hey you got to do this or you realize at work something is coming up and you got to go out of town and you got to do that uh, it's harder to keep up and if you make a huge commitment you feel discouraged because you start thinking oh I, I i haven't filmed in a couple of days there's no way i can finish getting this thing done by the end of the month um there's there's no reason for that you know um if you want to you can always change your oath of moment at any time and uh, the reason why I do such crazy size challenges like last year with my Vostroyans and this year with this Death Corps of Krieg army is because I want to show you that it can be done. Uh, this is not the bar that I want to set for everybody though. It's kind of like my way of saying, you know, I can, I can do it so anybody can do it. And um, what, 
you know, there's some people out there who are taking the challenge that are only doing four figures and uh, four character figures. They want to do really well. They want to take the time to do it and they know they don't have time. And there are some people like Ringo who's got just loads and loads, buckets and bags of little six millimeter <laughs> guys that are just so tiny and I'm amazed to see the work that he's done with them. So. Uh, you know, find the project that works for you anytime during July. If you want to change your commitment, go ahead and change it. The, um, I guess the, the, the feeling that I want everyone to have by the end of this thing is a feeling of accomplishment that you set a goal and you're able to accomplish it. I feel like it's kind of, uh, sad when we lose people along the way because of other projects and stuff and things going on and, uh, I don't I, I don't want you to feel discouraged and I don't want you to feel like, oh, I set this goal for myself. It's unrealistic. Oh, I can't do anything. I'm a failure. Um, you know, just make it smaller. That's who's going to care. Nobody's going to care. Uh, I'm not going to come to your house and, you know, tease you and laugh at you. OK, so these crew guys, I didn't realize that uh, when I got them, they had these little little what I thought they were like bamboo pods on the front of them. But I guess they're they're ammo tubes for the thud gun. The quad thud gun has like four barrels on it and I remember looking at them when I first got this box of resin last or two years ago and seeing these tubes and thinking to myself I what bamboo they look like a bamboo picket line and I thought that just looked kind of silly okay so batch painting assembly lining it uh, I like to do things like just very small manageable chunks try not to doing do like two or three or four colors with each one because otherwise you spend like half an hour on one guy and then you look down the line and you see you've got another 80 left to go so what i did was after getting the base colors of rust gray on the great coats i decided to go back in and do the silver first with bolt gun metal get all the silver done and then go back and do all the leather with the Morn Fang Brown. So that's the boots, that's the uh, straps and the rebreather unit, the backpacks. For those of them that have backpacks, you'll notice that these crew guys don't have backpacks except for the sergeant leaders, the ones that are pointing with the binoculars. I gave them backpacks. And uh, the rest of the guys didn't have them, and I couldn't find any enough extra backpack bits in the bits boxes, so I decided they just they left them at home. They don't need backpacks, they're just loading stuff there in the back of the line so they don't need them um, and it's easier to get through when you when you manage your time in your projects and your you manage the uh, little bit that you're gonna do you don't feel as discouraged so try doing that and um, do this little technique I do of lining them up and organizing them you don't want one giant mob of resin or plastic or metal uh, if you're doing a lot of guys like I am. I mean, this is only for assembly lining it. You'll notice that I'm trying to organize them, trying to keep them facing the same way to show that I'm done with them and pulling them out and uh, organizing them and lining them up. And it's really effective and you feel like you've got something accomplished at the end of the day. So after the Mornfang Brown, I'm going in and I'm doing the boot covers, which is in uh, Storm Vermin Dinge or the other one, Skaven Blade Dinge, Storm Vermin Fur, some kind of Skaven color. It's Kind of like the new, uh, Zifa was asking about the the new Caradon granite, and it's kind of like that. It's a charcoal gray, but with a little bit of a brown brownish tinge to it. So that's the boot covers, and then I'm doing the leg straps with Rackarth flesh, and then I'm doing the trousers and gloves. So after each one of these colors, I'm not doing all of them together. I'm trying to um, separate them and do do each one of them, and that way I can. I can pick one guy up, paint him, put him down. Pick the next guy up, paint one color, put him down. And the good thing is they're all kind of different sculpts. Uh, even though the, the, the sculpts are the same, the, the way they're glued together and some of them have are holding the, the artillery pieces and not, some of them aren't. Um, there's enough variety that you feel like you're not doing too much. And here we go. I'm actually getting to work now on the infantry. So. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks everybody for for watching. If if you're um, not taking part in the challenge, but you want to just follow along with everybody, go ahead and join the Google group for Warboss Tay's 2014 July Painting Challenge. Let's just get as much people as we can to follow along because uh, it's not a pride or vanity thing for me, but there's so much great projects out there. It'd be great to have 
as much people as we can uh, subscribe to everybody okay thanks for watching everybody this looks like we're reaching the end of this clip and uh really tedious stuff again igor seems to be um off focus with the camera i am not i fell asleep because i was so bored and so uh, we're gonna and there's my lady boss and she's snoring and she's yeah that's that's my cue to stop recording so stay tuned general nonsense episode three coming out uh soon who knows when whenever we decide to record it <clears throat> what was that darling